the previous tutorial we'll, we dealt with the refined edge tool. In this tutorial we're going to be dealing with the puppet warp tool which will allow you to reposition um, anything you want. Now there is one limitation to this, and well not really a limitation but just something that's more preferable. Ideally the best way for it to work is it with having the image that you want to warp on a separate layer from the background and it to have transparency. Now let's get started. First we need to go to edit with our the image that we want to warp selected and click on puppet warp. Now what you'll see here is you'll have this new pen which you can add points to the part that you want to warp. You can also if you click here show a mesh that will give you a better guideline of how things are working. If you click on density you'll see fewer points you'll see more points and this will give you better accuracy. If you click on expansion it gives you like a kind of a safe area to work in. And if we click on mode we can go on rigid, normal or distort. For now we're going to leave everything at default. So if we zoom in on the picture you'll see here that you can use the mesh as a reference points. So we'll have one at the beginning of the trunk here. We'll have one here. And if we zoom, we'll have one here where you can see the tip. And that should be good enough. Now what you'll want to do is move the trunk as so. And you can see it's automatically repositioned it. However, if you zoom out, you see the whole elephant's gone into a different pose. We'll sort this out in a bit. So what you can do is just do this a little bit more. Maybe bring this out a little bit. And edit it like so. If you see that this has happened, what you can do is just edit a point here at the top. You can bring it down and level it out. And this can work for everything as well. Like, for example, we'll go to the leg, zoom in. We'll click on here where the knee should be. Then we'll click on a point here, move this around, and you can see the leg's been moved a little bit. So we'll do this, add another point, move it there. If this has happened again where it's been repositioned, we'll just use this to make it level. And if you've accidentally done a point that you don't want, you can always right click and delete pin. Remove all pins, select all pins and hide mesh. You can also reset the depth. For a shortcut, if you don't want to right click to delete your stuff, you can just press alt and then click on the point and it will automatically delete it. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Until next time, thank you for watching and goodbye.